Jeff, this um, racist material that's occurring, um, particularly what happened over the weekend with Marjak Daw, what, what's your thought about it? It's nothing new as far as I'm concerned. This is, uh, we have a big problem in this country with racism. We've had a problem for a long time. Uh, it's getting worse. I've got no time for people to say, no, Joff, you're wrong. I made some comments uh, in the paper about three years ago that Australia was very much a racist country and we have to be very careful how we approach that. And uh, I got shit canned all over the place for saying that. But when you get out into the suburbs, when you get to different football games, not only at AFL level, but at uh, suburban level, VFL level, uh, work level, just a walk down the street, just a casual talk with mates. Racism is very much alive in this country. Racism is, is so much alive in this country, it can cost a federal party, it can kick a party out of office or, or bring in a new government. I, I say to you that this refugee boat crisis would not be a crisis if they were white and could speak English. This is how far racism has reached in this country, and we've got to do something about it now. The AFL cannot sit on the fence about what happened to Buddy Franklin. Sadly, it did. It did nothing. Uh, it's come out in a half-hearted attempt to try and deal with the situation on the weekend with uh, Marjack Dorr from North Melbourne, suspending this baboon guilty of racist comments for the rest of the year. Um, he's got to go through some program, some rehabilitation program to deal with uh, racism or whatever. We've got to go further than that. This, 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 uh, and I think George Negus said on TV last night, in two words, mindless idiot. Anyone who is a racist, anyone who, who thinks they're better on the basis that they're white and the other person isn't, is a mindless idiot. And we should not tolerate it in this country because it is, it's been prevalent for a long time. And one gets the sense that it's just about out of control. Now, people might think, oh, turn it up, Joff, you're, you're a bit of, bit of an alarmist here, you're, you're, you're going overboard, but I'm not. Australia has a huge problem of racism, and, and people like us who, don't, uh, who have no time for it, who don't tolerate it, this is our time now to stand up and say, for God's sake, let's do something before this whole thing is out of control. And I think it just about is out of control. Um, I'm very disappointed to go to uh, newspaper websites and to read comments left by readers on the stories that uh, happened with Eddie and Cracker on the weekend and the North Melbourne footballer that we just spoke about. Read those comments, uh, record comments, I think it's up to 600 or 650, 700 people have left their own personal comments to what's been going on. Read it. It is very scary. It is very scary what people are thinking. So the AFL, having said that, haven't been tough enough. Once again, they've sat on the fence. All right, well, let's, let's look at the Eddie situation. He did go off the handle um, on Saturday night. Yeah. Um, what's your understanding of what happened there? Uh, look, I'm not really sure, to be quite honest. I, I think it, it may have been initially interpreted that because Cracker was the person that the remarks were made at, kick him while he's down, that it may have been racist. Uh, I wasn't there and didn't hear the comments, so I really can't, I, I, I can't speak. But there was a suggestion then uh, from some of the commentators to Eddie that the Collingwood cheer squad have been less than endearing towards yes. some of the St Kilda oh. players, Milne in particular. Well, I mean... Uh, uh, I, I, there's, a, there's a huge difference here between verbal abuse and racial abuse. I mean, I, I, if, if, I, if I verbally abuse an umpire because of some stupid bullshit decision, I don't want to be put in bed, in the same bed, with a racist because I'm not a racist. Let's get that clear, OK? Never have been and never will be and no tolerance whatsoever for racism. So there's a difference here. So let, let's, not, let's not confuse what we're talking about here. We're talking about racism, not uh, jumping up in the middle of the last quarter and, and, and uh, screaming out uh, abuse at an umpire. That's, you know, that's, you know that's, that, that's gets pretty serious here. That's nothing. Okay, we've been doing that 
for years, and I've got no problem sitting next to someone who wants to argue about an umpiring decision. But I certainly okay. have a problem sitting next to someone who is vilifying a person because of skin colour. That's completely different. Okay, and what about because of a uh, perceived problem that they may have had? Uh... Yes, uh, they were, and, and our history isn't good at Collingwood. With the, uh, uh, and, 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 and that's embarrassing to us. And, but I think that in recent times, Collingwood have made very big inroads. Is that because they're winning, Joe? No, I don't think it's got anything to do with winning. I, I think Collingwood as a football club has grown up. I think the people that run the club have grown up. I think the supporters have grown up. Okay, then does it concern you then when clearly Eddie has lost his temper? Oh, I, uh, what, 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 are we, what, what are we talking about now? Are we, is, he, is Eddie not allowed to lose his temper? Uh, come on. You know, like Eddie has heard something that is, he's not happy about. Uh, that he may have believed to be a little bit more sinister than what the people were saying. He may have thought that, uh, hey, there's a problem here. We, we, all, we all lose our temper. I mean, there, there, there was no punches thrown. We had two, two sets of people exchanging words. Uh, because Eddie is Eddie, there's a camera on him 24-7. You know, had it been Jay Blay from, uh, from Spotswood, there wouldn't have been a camera on him. So I, I, I don't think it's fair to sort of say, well, you know, is Eddie allowed to lose his temper? Well, of course he is. OK. Has the club um, and the directors of the club given any direction to the cheer squad in how they might behave? Absolutely. Look, uh, <laughs> let me tell you now, uh, if I was to hear somebody in a cheer squad making racist remarks, I tell you now, they would get it from me, and then I'd be at the club Monday morning to put them in. I'm telling you now, no time for it. And and I think that you can't you can't say because Collingwood have been guilty of it in the past that they're still guilty of it now. That's bullshit, and that doesn't wear with me. Uh, the, the stuff that I've been reading, oh, the Collingwood cheer squad, Eddie should get into the Collingwood cheer squad. They're all bogans. They're racist. They're out of work. They're uneducated. They're fools. Come on, give us a break. If you hate Collingwood. Just say you hate Collingwood, but don't associate your hatred with us being la targeting us and labelling us as racist, as as, as uh, bogans, as uh, all this very very unfair stuff. You, you grow up. You tell don't. these people to grow up. Look at what's happening and understand that in all football clubs, there's obviously a problem with all football clubs. It's not just Collingwood. Buddy Franklin for Hawthorne. Uh, and I, I, I forget that who, but Hawthorne weren't playing Collingwood that day. Daw, the, the young, and he's going to be a brilliant footballer, the Sudanese football of North Melbourne, Daw, and let's hope he is. Let's hope he overcomes all his crap and becomes a superstar of the game. North Melbourne, that was a VFL game. They weren't playing Collingwood. Uh, and it just happened that on the same weekend as the, the Daw incident, uh, Eddie was captured sticking up for what he believed were... Pretty ordinary comments made the cracker. Good. It's brought it all into everyone's living room. Everyone is talking about it, which is good. Because uh, I think we're guilty of time. I think Australians are very guilty of telling the world how good they are and hiding all the bad stuff under the carpet. We've got to bring this stuff. We've got to talk about it. We've got to deal with it. We've got to come up with solutions. Uh, we have to. We've got to do it now. We've got to do it now. Do you think... The turning point for Collingwood, for instance, might have been in the Nicky Winmar exhibition. Well, I think it was a turning point generally. I mean, even as a kid going to the football, Black B, your Black C, it was embarrassing. Uh, to say that all Collingwood people are racist upsets me very much because I'm not a racist. It's very upsetting. I'm very passionate about this. Call me a racist to my face and we're going to have big problems, because I'm not. Um, but the Nicky Winmar incident, yes, I think, uh, and good on him for Nicky Winmar to lift up his jumper and show the colour of his skin and in doing so, saying to the world, hey, I'm black and I'm proud. Good on him, because it's made a lot of difference. But a lot of, a lot of time has elapsed since then and, and it's reared again. I mean, obviously it's... Uh, we talked about the Winmar incident, 
uh, oh yes, okay, well we've, we've, we've got to, as people and, and communities and as a society, we've, we've got to get better, we've got to deal with it. They put it to bed, it's come back again. If we do the same thing now, put it to bed, it may come back 10 times worse in whatever, 5, 10, 15 years time.